Hey everyone and welcome back to another video in the SEO series of 90 Second Knowledge. Before we get started, as always, don't forget to hit subscribe and the alert button as well so you're going to get notifications when we launch new content which will help you get more visits and sales to your business website. What are we going to look at today? Well, today we're going to tell you how to fix broken links. Broken links can be really frustrating for users and a bad experience for search engines too when they're crawling your website to find your latest content. A broken link is where someone clicks a link to take you to a page or a file but that doesn't exist and instead the user or search engine is shown an error message. This can affect how you rank in search engines which can affect click through rate and search visibility but from a user's perspective as well this can mean a really bad experience. If they're looking for something and it's not there they'll get frustrated, they'll leave and they might even go to a competitor. And this doesn't just affect SEO traffic either. If you're using paid search or social media to drive traffic to your website, you could be wasting advertising spend as well. So making sure you find and fix broken links is really important. But how are we gonna do it? Well, let's get 90 seconds on the clock and take a look. Find out the page title of your error page. To do that, visit your website and just stick the word slash test after your URL and that will give you an error page. If you have a look in the top at the browser here, we can see that the error page title is error 404 URL invalid. Make a note of it and we'll need it later. Next, log into Google Analytics 4 and go to the explore button. Hit the path exploration report and when that loads, click start over in the top right. Under ending point, click and then click page title and screen name. You'll be shown a list of page titles which Google Analytics has seen on your website. Look for your page title that corresponds to the one on your error page. Once you've selected that, you'll be shown a report and this report shows you all of the pages that people have visited before arriving at your error page. So we now know that as a broken link on this page with this title, we can go and look at that page and check the links on it to make sure they're working correctly. And if they're not, we can fix them. If you're not using Google Analytics 4, you need to go to behavior, site content, all pages. From this report, select page title and as a second dimension, choose previous page path. Once this loads, you can search by the page title of your error page. Click apply. The report will now filter by the page title you searched for and previous page path shows you the pages that people were on prior to hitting an error page. This is the list of pages that you need to go and look at for a broken link. So there you go, that's how to find and fix broken links on your website in under 90 seconds. And don't forget though, like most things in SEO, it's worth doing this on a regular basis. Small changes often are far better than leaving it every six months and doing it as a big hit. Not only will it be a really tedious job for someone to do and you may not feel like you're getting value from it, but Google and other search engines won't see those incremental benefits. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And join us again soon as we explore more hints and tips to help you find more traffic and sales for your business website.